Driving Ivan here, and behind me is the Fiat 500L. I've taken a quick drive in it before, but now I'm down in Florida on vacation, so I'll really get to see what it's like. So, will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, done up in what the Italians would call fly yellow, it certainly is cute. There's no questioning that. It might look familiar to some viewers because it was the Pope Mobile when he came to America several years back. Of course, this one is not heavily modified like that one, and it does have the familiar lines of the Fiat 500 family, even the old one, and to me, that's very important. So there you have it. Not really a pint-sized Fiat 500, but a compact utility vehicle crossover for the masses. This is what the people want, and I'm glad Fiat is giving it to us in America, and they bring it with a lot of style, and I think Italian flair too. Looks great. That style continues on into the interior too. Lumbar support, which is all power, and heated seats too. Basic black here, but like the other Fiat 500 cars, like my Fiat 500C, the convertible, does have the 500 engraved into the seats there. A nice style point, I think. Large Fiat badge on the steering wheel. So excited that that's in America again, as it has been for the last seven model years. You get the Beats audio and really just basic black. However, of course, I love the way that they give you body color across the dash on the 500. And this one also has this really nice panoramic roof here, which you can go ahead and let the sun shine in. And here in Florida, that's exactly what you want. So look at that, a beautiful panoramic sunroof, which really makes the interior, brightens things up, lets everybody see outside. And uh, yes. A beautiful sunny Florida sky it is. This 500L is equipped with the entire package. You get Sirius satellite radio, of course the Beats audio TomTom -tom navigation, and uh, you connect as well. You can easily connect it up to your phone and that sort of thing. There's apps built in and just lots of information in the screen as well about your trip, which is nice to have. Of course it is touchscreen, but you also get a volume and a tuning knob which I really like and it's pretty easy to get wherever you need to get with the touch screen and anything you'd like really falls right to hand and you also have brightness controls at nighttime for the screen. Dual zone climate control a nice touch here as well so they've gone a bit up market in this Fiat 500L and you can shift the transmission yourself you can also control things on your steering wheel like your Bluetooth and of course your cruise control as well. There's a menu straight in front of you as well, which is nice. And that lets you scroll through other controls as well. See useful information. And then this being a Chrysler Fiat Mercedes product, you have the controls behind the steering wheel for your volume and tone control and radio and channel. And I really think that's a great touch too. So the touchscreen neatly integrated and feels great, easy to use. Also your basic gauges here, tachometer, speedometer, and then of course fuel and temperature in the middle there. So everything very straightforward and the layout and the control for everything you need to get at is just really top notch. I'll give it a very strong nine and a half out of 10 in my drive and Ivan technology integration score. Now for the rest of the interior, you have an armrest here, a bit on the small side, but pretty deep storage in there. Moving forward, a real handbrake and two cup holders. The steering wheel does telescope and also of course goes up and down, so you can definitely find a nice seating position. Also, you can raise the seat up high. So short or tall, you should be comfortable in the Fiat 500L. Here's where you can control your outside mirrors and then on the door itself you have your power window controls and locks as well. A little storage here for coins and such. And then a bit of storage down below here too. You also get some storage here. That's how you cancel the traction control, which I never recommend. Then you have charger here and also a place to hook up your smarter iPhone here. Plus, of course, more connectability up here for your smarter iPhone. 
So all in all, in the Fiat 500L, a stylish interior with the right amount of tech and comfort thrown in for good measure too. Out back, you get your own USB charger as well and seating for up to three across. And it sort of mirrors the same door design as the one up front back here. You get an armrest back here and then this pops out revealing one cup holder. And then of course you can collapse the rear seats and totally get the seats out of the way if you like as well, which is a nice feature. And then out back, plenty of storage behind the rear seats. Of course you can collapse the seats for more storage. Check out my disc golf videos as well. I'll be shooting a disc golf video or two down here in Florida. Great sport, play it with your whole family, but uh, nice little storage areas in back as well on the side here too and of course a light another nice feature is a bit of hidden storage below too the two-tiered shelving system that they have working back here is quite nice adjustable and uh, certainly useful too Powering the Fiat 500L is a 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It produces 160 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. It's mated to a six speed automatic and good for a zero to 60 time of eight seconds. Fuel economy in the city is 22, 30 on the highway, and you can expect 25 miles per gallon overall. Pricing for this mid-range Fiat 500L trekking, pop is the entry level, and the lounge is the top level. This one starts out at 23.6 roughly, and you have the preferred package, which has the dual zone climate control, and also the lumbar support, which is nice to have, plus park sense parking. And you also get this super cool dual pane sunroof, which sets you back $1,400. And so with that and destination, you're out the dealer door at basically $27,600, just under. So what about the competition? Well, you've got a bevy of small, compact utility vehicles made by just about every manufacturer. It's a very popular class, and everybody's trying to get that look at me styling. But really, no one does it better than Fiat. They've got the 500, which is just a cute, cool, chic Italian car, and they've converted this Fiat 500, really crossover utility vehicle, the L, as they call it, into sort of the grown-up Fiat 500. It still carries all that Italian styling, and it's a wagon, compact utility vehicle, whatever you want to call it, that you look at and you want just because of the way it looks. They've recently updated the looks to bring you a package that's closer in appearance to that smaller Fiat 500, which is a super cool car. I've reviewed just about every one of those. Just Google Drive and Ivan in any car you want to see and you'll find those reviews. Plus, I recently acquired Charlie Sheen's Fiat 500C. That's the convertible triple black, and that's the one he was given as partial payment for the house arrest commercials that he shot for the Fiat 500 a bar a while back. I'll have that story posted somewhere else on YouTube soon. But this is just a great all-around vehicle. Seats up to five people. You can get it with all-wheel drive if you go for the X. And it's got plenty of storage, 22 cubic feet of storage behind the seats there. With a cool kind of storage rack you can adjust in the back there so it's very convenient for carrying things of course you can fold the seats down it's got plenty of headroom if you're tall if you're short you will get comfortable in this car and it's nice to have that lumbar support as well it's quick enough not quick certainly good fuel economy 25 miles per gallon overall basically same engine as the fiat 500 a bar actually but of course this is a 3200 pound vehicle so it's not as quick but the view out and all around the 500L is really, really nice. No real blind spots to speak of. Windows everywhere. Very open, of course. The sunroof gives you a great feeling of openness. Lots of light in here. You will never feel claustrophobic in the 500L. That's a great thing. And you've got a nice infotainment screen and heated seats. 
and great connectivity with your phone with Uconnect 4. So you've got it all really, everything you need in this Fiat 500L trekking in this case. And that's what makes it a fine vehicle. One thing you see more of driving around in Florida are cool classic cars because it's warm all the time. That's a 840 CSI BMW. Very nice wedge shaped BMW with an 8 cylinder, 12 cylinder engine, the 850. But, uh, very cool to see those. And uh, also cool to see the night look of this very cool Fiat 500L. It's a nice look. I like the gauge cluster. Uh, no red, really, which I find kind of a eh color. And uh, I think they've done a good job here with making the night look here look good. So kudos to Fiat. I like that the TomTom -tom navigation tells you the current speed limit. That's always good to know. Backup camera is directional, meaning tells you which way you're headed with the directional indicators. That's a nice feature. Nothing's changed mechanically for the 2019 Fiat 500L, but they have changed the look to make it look more like the Fiat 500 and have more of a family resemblance, which to me is a great thing. And they've also made the interior a bit easier to get around. Still a little quirky, but just a little more modern, higher shifter. And basically it's making things easier to interact with your phone and just basically easier to reach and control. Now concerning any reliability issues associated with Fiat, of course they've had a bad rap in the past, but I have owned a Fiat 500, the smaller one, for quite some time now and uh, put a lot of miles on it and it's been trouble free. It's a fine car. I think the modern Fiats with engineering input from of course Chrysler Mercedes have gone a long way to improve reliability and uh, you can expect many happy miles of motoring in the Fiat 500L. So after spending a week with the Fiat 500L trekking and trekking all over Florida in it, it's been the perfect travel companion. It does everything you need it to do, carries what you need it to carry, keeps you comfortable, has great connectivity with your phone, really nice infotainment screen and options there. And best of all, of course, it looks great. You look at it and you smile. And you can't say that about too many vehicles out these days. And the Fiat 500 certainly has that in spades. It's got the Italian style, the hipness, the chicness. And like I said, it just makes you smile. My friend's calling it the Bumblebee. <laughs> it is fly yellow. And uh, it's very fitting. It's a fun, practical, compact utility vehicle. And that's why you'll want it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. Just go drive and Ivan in any car and you will see it. Check out all my Fiat 500 videos, my Lancia Delta Integrale video, Alfa Romeo videos. You name it, it's out there. Also check out my disc golf videos. Got to shoot a great disc golf video at Bonita Springs Park on this trip. Check that out elsewhere. Play the sport, it's great. And also check out my documentaries and my music videos as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ivan Ivan.